Radio, here we go. Welcome, great tens, to this lesson on One Point Perspective. It's a nice, complex one. It's the last one before we get to our final exams. And if you still do not have 100% understanding on One Point Perspective, this lesson is going to highlight the key parts of One Point Perspective. All right, so let's get started. You always will have a top view and a front view that is placed not in line with each other. There's a picture plane here, this line, PP, PV, Brent Flock in Afrikaans, um, that will indicate to you the position of the top view, and you can see here that it touches this front part of this house where this D1, which is the door is. Then you've got the HL, this will be at different heights, and then here at the bottom, we have our front view, and here you can again see this front part of the house where that doorway is positioned here, those two windows here at the back, it's these two that you see. All right. You also have a standing point, and the line here at the bottom is called the ground line. First things first, in line with the SP, either up or down, depending where that HL is, you're going to project the construction line, make a clear dot, that is your vanishing point on the HL. And the lesson there is that the vanishing point is always on the horizon line. And something else that's interesting is that... If you look outside the window, outside the airplane, uh, whenever you see the horizon, it will always be at your eye height, just for um, a reference sake there. All right, then we're going to redraw this front view in construction directly below the top view. And what we can do already is the part that touches this picture plane. We're going to go ahead and we're going to draw that with confidence. Uh, I don't draw all these lines all the way because we're going to have a lot of other lines here. So I'm just lining it up and just drawing the construction lines here at the bottom. That's the door. And so I'm already just estimating the height here. I'm not going to draw a, a line longer. That helps me to keep understanding. And there is the end of this building. And then the two windows here again, similar to the door height. Just two shorter lines for each. Okay, and then I, I'm going to draw the construction of that roof. Goes there. So very quickly, we're able to draw the front view. Here, because this is on the front, I'm going to do a nice dark solid line there. So some other tip that you can see as I draw, I try and do all my horizontal lines at the same time, all my vertical lines. That way I'm not constantly going that line, then this line, you see the amount of time I'm wasting if I'm doing one line at a time, okay? So rather try and find a technique where you are able to do the vertical lines at the same time where possible. All right, there's my roof for the front. Okay, everybody happy? Uh, that's going to be the front of this house. That's visible. All right. Now, the rest of this house is going to aim for the vanishing point. Now, my advice to you here is to start on a corner. This corner is not going to help me because it's behind. I can't see it. This is my primary corner here. If I get this one right, I'm going to be fine. This corner is, in fact, that corner right on the foundation. Yes or no? Okay, and it goes, remember, any line that's going in this direction, in my top view, is heading towards what? If I would extend it to the vanishing point. So this corner is aimed at the vanishing point, and if it was an unending building, it would have just continued straight, but there's a certain point where there's an intervention there. So I'm drawing this line, construction, up till what point before something happens? There something happens. I aim that to the SP, that corner, up to the picture plane, project that down, and where it touches this, that corner, this dot is in fact that dot. So this here I can do nice and dark. And now this is a wall going up and down here, it's in that corner, and so if I bring this roof, a roof across, I can just as well draw that one nice and dark the first time. I'm drawing with confidence. Now I am at this inside corner of the house. Now there's directional change. Here's another rule. Any line that is parallel to the picture plane is going to be parallel to the ground line. 
So that line goes this way, that line goes that way. How far before something happens? Tip, up to that point. Aim it down to the SP. Do you hear me repeating the same things? That's the outside of the wall. We do, we'll do the windows last. You see how this wall is now being transformed? Where is this point? This point is that point. What happens? Now it's aiming again to the vanishing point. How far until something happens? In that top view, we're going to find the back of it and project down. to the S, uh, PP, and down. See, very quickly I've got all of this house drawn, at least the walls. Right or wrong? Right. Okay, so we're starting to get some shape here. The rest of this, uh, uh, sorry, this, could, this is probably a construction line. That one. You'll see now, if you're unsure why that's a construction line, you'll see now. Okay. Next up is the actual roof. We can again start from this front corner. There it is. If I can determine this corner here, if I can determine this corner, I can join these two. So that's also heading to the vanishing point. Here we go. That goes this way. How far before something happens? All the way to this point. That's aimed to the vanish to the SP. Aim that down. That now becomes a solid line. What happens at this point? This point is this point. It changes direction. A line that is parallel to the picture plane is parallel in the perspective. Okay. How far does it go to the right? All the way to there. Am I teaching anything you didn't know? Definitely not. To the left hand side up to this point. Right, so here I can go and draw these two nice and dark. And then from this point there's a line going to this end, so I'm just going to fill that in. From this point to the back. And you can see this house taking shape. All right. The one corner, I want to know this angle here. So in the top view, it's this line running all the way to the back. I have to bring this point down. I don't have a long enough ruler here. Okay, there's the one that's hidden. This one on the front. This corner. And you see I've just extended this line where they meet. That's the angle for this line here. Does that make sense to you? Okay. So I just determined this corner on this side. There it is. It's hidden. And then on my um, top view, there's a line here, so I'm just going to join those two in. Okay, so now most of it is done. Now my window heights, they are the same height as this, this doorway, so I can bring that door across that height. Take that to the VP. That's the top of my windows. The bottom of my windows, it was here in my... So I'm just going to bring that across to this corner and now I can do the same with it. That's the bottom of the windows. Okay, so what I've done there, I'll just highlight them for you. 
The window height, even from here, made a mark on this corner and on that corner. And I'm going to project them just as I would to the VP, then parallel, back to the VP. Okay, so I'm just following that same path I did with all of these lines, just in construction. That gives me the top of the window and the bottom of the window. Okay. And then where do I get the actual placements of this win these windows? I can either um, project them now from the construction detail that I've got here, and we can double check that. This goes there. That one goes here. It's either that. So that's the top of it. That's the top of it. The bottom is going to be directly be below it. Directly below it. What would be another way to determine it? I'm going to use that for the one on the right hand side. I could also just from the top view aim to the SP. Same, exact same placement. If I would bring these across, there they are. They are lining up. You see that? Okay, so there's my windows, and for the side window, definitely the easiest is going to be to take it from here. So each one of these, okay. And as I'm busy wrapping this one up, I'm going to quickly just highlight you parts of this drawing again. The one more window I've missed. Oh yeah, on the side here. Okay. Do that quickly. So there is another window. Thank you for reminding me. Nice big window, this one. Okay, my um, construction lines, of course, is a little bit darker because it's for you to be able to see that on the screen. But your construction lines, please, people, make sure they are really light. If I'm standing next to you, looking over your shoulder, I must barely be able to see those construction lines. So make sure they're very light. Okay, if we uh, just quickly have a re-look at this one. This front of... My house touching the picture plane, it's all of this here. And that is exactly the same size as the given size. Okay. That's here on the front. Okay. For my roof, remember then from this ridge it's going to the vanishing point so that's going to be that line is in fact this line here where does it stop at that point it changes direction that was a line i brought down and then because it's parallel to the picture plane here that line again is parallel here if i have those key points and i have these corner points that i've projected down there they are i'm just joining them to get these lines that's almost um, maybe at a difficult angle for some. Radio. Is there any questions in class? Anybody that wants to make sure of something, ask a question. Yes. No, I don't. They don't ask for any labels, so no need for labels. Um, let me give you. A, can I do something and enhance this drawing? If this, 
in, in future, it might be that they give you a window width here. They say in the top view, that window, there's a width to it, like that. They just indicate it like that, okay? Look at how beautiful this is going to be. All you're going to do is, you're going to bring, um, okay, there's another one. You're going to bring that depth down. And you can even go and do this for yourself. You see how that adds a depth to your window. Nice, ne? Same here on the corners. I'm going to guesstimate mine, but you can just bring them down from the top. And you'll see you're going to get that inside edge there. Inside edge there. And they look nice, man. Now it looks like a boss drawing. Ha <laughs> ha! So even for this door, there, there's a depth. If I wanted to, I can bring that down, bring that down. How's that? Okay. I think it looks good nice. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. This was the last one. All the best with your own final exam and preparing for your FAT in one point perspective. Now it's your turn.